Ever since the Wright brothers were testing their pioneering aircraft more than a century ago, pilots have been challenged by sudden gusts of wind or wind shear on final approaches. Now UK scientists have gone back to doing exactly what the Wright brothers did and studied the birds for the answers. Scientists from the University of Bristol and the Royal Veterinary College have been working with Lily the Barn Owl to understand how birds are able to adapt in gusty conditions. A discovery that could aid the development of bio-inspired small-scale aircraft. Dr Shane Windsor, the Senior Lecturer in Aerodynamics and Aeroelasticity, have been working on the study. Dr Windsor, how did this project come about and how are you getting on with it? Well, Alan, the project came about, I've always been fascinated by the ability of birds to deal with complex kind of dynamic situations. Like you'd watch them flying around on windy days and they make it look effortless. But they're dealing with, you know, what gusts that are as fast as their own flight speed, yet they're quite happy to cruise along in these conditions. And this is something that's always fascinated me, but it's been really hard in the past to understand how birds are able to do this. So we need to understand what the airflows are that the birds are going through or control them. And then we can work out kind of what they do in response to the gusts of winds that they're encountering. So Richard and I have been working together to look with a team of uh, other engineers and scientists to understand how they, they do this by doing experiments where we have the birds that's flying through these gusts that we generate for them and measuring how they respond to those. And what have you discovered? So we discovered that essentially the wings of the birds act as a suspension system. So as the bird's flying along, it's kind of got a, a steady state where it's holding the load on its wings, balancing out its body weight. Then as it hits the gust, the wings suddenly elevated up. And this happened really quickly. And you'll see that the wings go up with the bird, but its body and head continues in a nice straight line. So the wings are acting like a suspension system to isolate the head and the body from any sudden motions. And we discovered that the mechanics of this are really interesting. It happens so quickly at the beginning of the gust that it can't be based on the bird kind of sensing what's happening and responding. It's faster than its reaction time. So we looked into it and it seems that the mechanics of the wings and the way the shoulder joint works means that just by the sudden loading increase of lift on the wings, they go up. And that motion of pulling the mass of the wings up means that the body is actually moves down, down correspondingly. And we also found that it seems that the wings are really tuned to make this work. We did some modeling and found that the wings have a sweet spot, like in a, when you've got a tennis racket or a cricket bat, you hit it in the right place and you really don't get a jarring going back to, into your hand. And it looks like the bird's wings do exactly the same thing, where they've got a sweet spot where the aerodynamic forces work that mean that the body doesn't get jarred by the sudden change in the airflow from the gusts. So we're seeing a lot of development now with small aircraft, with um, urban air transport and so on. How is this going to change the way we could design these aircraft to make them safer in the future? Well, by looking at kind of bio-inspired ideas, we get solutions suggested to us that are fundamentally different from the way we often do things. And normally we make wings rigid and we make them so they're attached to the future is large and you don't, you don't want your wing bending and moving around. But from what we're seeing from the birds is it's actually there's lots of advantages from having a shoulder joint that's hinged and can move the mass of the wing around. And that it automatically generates this kind of uh, dynamic suspension effect that means that you don't need a really fast controller to deal with uh, sudden gusts and turbulence. Actually, the mechanics here system can deal with the fastest aspects and slow it down enough that your flight controller or your central nervous system, in the case of the birds, can act a bit later and kind of trim and move the wing to, to kind of keep you on course and over the longer term. But by having these simple ideas of a suspension system in the wing that we could potentially apply to uh, small unmanned air vehicles and, or even potentially light aircraft, where by building the right mechanics into the wing, you might be able to 
stabilize the fuselage or the payload that you're carrying in a, in a quite simple way without having to add a whole complex control system into it. And this is the sort of solution that we're seeing that the birds have come up with. Well, thank you, Dr. Windsor. Who knows, in a few years time, the names of Dr. Windsor and Lily the Barn Owl could be as famous as the Wright brothers for that development in aviation.